All right, so 419 in our notes. Determine the moment produced by the force about point O. Moment about a point. Moment about a point is R cross F. And this R needs to go from the point to the force. All right, so produced by the moment about point O. Where's point O? Point O is right here. There's the force right there. Uh, oh, yeah, look there at those coordinate direction angles. Before we get there, though, uh, let's just find the R. Let's just find the R first. What is the R that goes from the point to the force? Can't emphasize that enough. From the point to the force. From the point to the force. How far does it go in the X? Nothing. How far does it go in the Y? Point 0.3 in the J. And then it goes up, point 0.25 in the K. And then leave it like that, right? Don't, don't divide it by anything. Just leave the R right there. All right, got it. I like to kind of put a check mark. Uh, when I've got one of those. Now, how about the force? Can't just plug in 200. Got to write that in I, J, K. And so these are chord direction angles. What do I do when I see chord direction angles? I think F equals F U, where U is cosine alpha I plus cosine beta J plus cosine gamma K. Go back and review those. And I don't know if we're going to do spherical. Go back and review spherical. All right, go back and review spherical. Breaking... Uh, a force into its components. So this uh, is going to be 200 times cosine. All right. Uh, the, the angle to X is going to be 120 in the I. Uh, cosine, it is 60 degrees from the J. It is 45 from the K. So multiply that through. And I would get this force, negative 100, positive 100, 141.4 uh, units newtons. All right. And so that right there is my force. Put a check mark because now I've got my force written. Now I can do my cross product. M uh, equals R across F. So I do the I, J, K across the top, the R. Zero. And don't forget these zeros as kind of as placeholder when you don't have something there. And then the force, negative 100, positive 100, 141.4. So this is going to be, all right, my I component is going to be 0 0.3, 141.4 minus 0 0.25, 100. Blah, blah, blah. Too many zeros there. 100. And then the J component minus the J component, which is that minus that. Zero minus 0.25 times negative 100. And plus my K component is going to be that minus that. Zero. Well, zero. Zero minus 0.3 times negative 100. All right. So the moment about 0.0 is going to be 17.4 in the I, minus 25 in the J, plus 30 in the K units, Newton meters. So there we go. Take a step back. Look at what we did. We noticed it was moment about a point, so that's R cross F. And then what is R? R is a position vector that goes from the point to the force. Uh, so it was this. What is F? Well, it's 200, but I need to write it, break it up into its components. There it is right there. Then I can do the cross product to get the moment. Leave it like that, right? The moment could be a vector. It could have I's, J's, and K's. Don't try to combine it into anything other than what it is. There's a moment about point O.